world. Tosh Talks. I'm excited. You're excited too. I can tell you're very nervous to look at me while I look at you. Hello. Ah, well, I'm Tosh Berman, the host. Well, I am Tosh Talks. I'm Tosh Berman, Tosh Talks. I am the book buyer at Book Soup. It's a bookstore in West Hollywood, and I purchase all the books for the store. And um, uh, for this episode, I want to talk about one particular person, Dare Wright. Dare Wright, a, a great name. It's almost sort of like a 1940s heroine of some sort. But uh, Dare Wright put together a collection of children books from the 50s called The Lonely Doll. And after The Lonely Doll, she made Edith and Mr. Bear a lonely doll story. And then a book that she made in the 60s called Make Me Real. And I'll talk about these books in a second. But first, let's focus on The Lonely Doll. Um, I have a vague memory. You know, when you're a child, you have sort of a memory of objects and books that you were raised with but, or somehow you may have owned or maybe you went to somebody's house and you just have that memory, that sort of strange memory that always sticks with you for some reason. I ha that's how I feel about The Lonely Doll. Um, it's been reprinted many, many times, but the basic design is always the same. And um, I found something kind of um, warming or kind of um, comforting about the design of these books. Mesa's the checkers. It sort of reminds me of mom in a way. It feels very safe, very home-like, very American. And um, The Lonely Doll is about a doll that is, hold on to your pants, is lonely. And she eventually m makes new friends, Mr. Bear and Little Bear. And what's the beauty of, um, again, I like the book design too, because it's a you know, double page of uh, just checkers there. I love that. Um, here's the title page, Lonely Doll. Um, so basically, these are all photographs with, with narration. That's what Dara Wright does. And um, it tells a story about her. She's very, very lonely. And she meets uh, Mr. Bear and Little Bear. And there they are. And they're friends. But somehow through the stories, or through the narration, Mr. Bear becomes sort of like a parental male figure in the story. And sometimes the lonely doll is a bad little girl. And sometimes little, little girls have to be punished if they did something wrong. And, you know, here they are playing around. And what is fascinating to me is um, when the Lonely Doll does something bad, um, Mr. Bear gets kind of angry. Like here, the Lonely Doll, uh, Lonely Doll, and the Little Bear go to a, a uh, into a uh, sort of a, a woman's uh, bedroom to play with makeup, to play a little dress, you know, dress makeup thing, and some more little. In interesting images of a lonely doll in the kitchen, I mean, in the, in the bathroom, in the bathroom, woman's bathroom. And then what happens is Mr. Bear shows up, and you can see the reflection in the mirror here. And he is angry for her messing up the, um, uh, the, the, the very feminine bathroom. And um, he insists on spanking uh, the lonely doll and the little, little bear. They're very, very bad. Now, as well as Edith and Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear has to take care of um, the lonely doll because she's bad in this one as well. And what's interesting about this book, these years' books, is the biography on Dare Wright called The Secret Life of the Lonely Doll, The Search for Dare Wright. And this is a galley of the book. It's down in paperback right now. And it's an older book. came out about oh, 10 years ago. And it's written by Gene Nathan. And it's probably one of my most favorite biographies ever. Um, the story of Dara Wright is, is, a, is a gothic tale. Um, she was born... Well, her mother was... was her, na her mother's name is Edie. And Edie was a portrait painter. 
she just sort of focused on doing a, a portrait painting. Or a portrait, her portrait subject matters were all like sort of like local politicians or prominent rich people, and that's what she did for a living. She married uh, a gentleman who was a, uh, a, I believe, a drama critic and as well as an agent and maybe a part-time actor. They had two children. They had um, Brett, a brother, a male, and they had Dare Wright, the daughter, who was younger than, than the brother. And um, eventually the couple split up. Uh, the father took the son away, and uh, Edie kept uh, Dare. And um, they didn't see each other for many, many, many years. Um, and Edie, the mom, sort of took total possession of Dare. And Edie herself is a highly aesthetic person. She sort of had her own world, her own sort of fantasy world. And she, what, she did, what she would do is um, um, sort of encourage Dare to be very close to the mom and not really go out to the world to look at things or do things. And eventually um, Dare went to New York City and found her brother. And, uh, and the brother and sister immediately sort of fell in love with each other again because they both have a passion for each other. And this is a beautiful, really uh, attractive family, uh, the brother and sister and the mom as well. And um, what happened, the brother and the sister start playing little baby games and sorts. And they sort of do little children talking and stuff like that. And during this time period, uh, Dare Wright uh, uh, received a doll. This lonely doll. And she got the ideal to actually, uh, she got interested in photography, and she thought, well, I'm going to make a story out of this lonely doll. And this is what the book is. Now, what's interesting is, is the name of the doll is Edith. The mom's name is Edie, which is Edith. So uh, is this a, a, a book about her mom? I don't think so. I think it's about Dare. I think Dare is a lonely doll, but she takes her mom's name for some reason or another. So here we've got a children's story that's actually quite twisted <laughs> and quite dark uh, with slightly kind of strange sexual overtones. And um, um, Dare Wright became a very, very successful children author. And, um, uh, and, and in her past, she was also a model. She was a very, as I mentioned, she was an extremely beautiful woman. And she... Um, well, what happened was her mother and her got closer and closer. Uh, the mom hated her son because she felt the son was taking the tension away from her because Dare, Dare loved, her, loved her brother. And the brother hated the mom because he felt the mom was sort of taking Dare's attention away from him. So here's like a little triangle <laughs> of, uh, a, a, of a, a wonderful family. And... Um, Eventually, you know, uh, though they live apart, they spent many, much time together, the mom and, and Dare. And, uh, and eventually, they, you know, they actually slept together in each bed. Not saying they had their sexual relationship between the two, but we're not really sure about that. But they would do, they would go on vacations and holiday, and they would go to this place called the um, um, Okra Coke uh, Beach, which is, uh, it's like a little island off the East Coast of the States. And uh, they would go there every summer, and they would live there for like a month or two. And like, there's nothing there. It's very rural at the time. Just fishermen and just like the little, little structures. And uh, they often will go like nude sunbathing together, and, uh, which is unusual for a mom and daughter to do together, at least in American culture. And um, Dare would take photographs, uh, would either take... Um, self portraits of herself or set everything up and just have her mom take the picture, just like do the click. And most of these photographs are like nude photographs of Dare Wright, um, which, has, which are both incredibly sexy, incredibly beautiful, but also uh, obviously quite disturbing at the same time. And uh, the book I just show you, the Okra, uh, the, uh, Okra Coke uh, Islands, photographs and narrative by Dare Wright, this is the only adult book she actually put together. And it's just a photo documentation, or like a documentary of the island. And um, the book, is strange enough, is not that interesting. What's interesting is the story behind the book, the fact that Dare Wright put this book together, because this is a place where her and her mom would vacation, do like nude sunbathing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the story doesn't end well, because the mom dies, and Dare Wright sort of became um, 
well, she's, she, it's a form of madness took place. It's a very much of a gothic and dark tale. But the story that, uh, that I have, it's very hard for me not to think about this story on a daily basis because it's, um, um, it's a world that's totally uh, secular and it's totally one and it's totally private and the outside world doesn't matter. And also Dare made her own clothes and also did her own interiors of wherever she lived. And she was a good interior decorator and she was pretty good with clothes. In fact, the Lonely Doll is pretty much, she made all the clothes for the Lonely Doll. And a lot of the clothing is sort of based on, uh, on Dare's um, grown-up clothes. But Dare, as you got older, started wearing clothes like this as well, which a lot of people were, were either disturbed or found it highly eccentric. And the fact that she was extremely beautiful and alluring uh, also drove uh, people kind of insane because men were really much attracted to her, but she did not have any sexual relationship with men as far as we know, as, as we know today. And um, so that's basically the story of the Lonely Doll. I just want to tell you about this because I think she's a phenomenal artist. Her photographs are superb. In a way, it's sort of like Sidney Sherman photographs, how Sidney Sherman used herself inside the self-portrait, blah, blah, blah. I think uh, Dare Wright sort of did the same thing. And in fact, I'm pretty sure that Sidney Sherman is a huge fan of Dare Wright's work. Um, but anyway, The Secret Life of the Lonely Doll, it, again, is probably one of the best biographies I've ever read. And uh, it's, 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 a, it's an astonishing tale of a family a, a, that's totally on a gothic level. On a, from a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 12 in, in, in sort of gothic scariness. And it's a great book. And Make Me Real is kind of an unusual book by Dare Wright because it deals with the actual living girl and her relationship with the doll. So it's sort of like sort of a doll with another doll. This, she actually uses a real living person which you presume is Dare Wright, or, or Dare Wright taking that role, and the story of a little doll and their relationship, which is kind of um, twisted and kind of dark, and, um, and, and uh, there's a slight uh, tinge of darkness in everything. So, as usual, children's literature always has an element of darkness, or a lot of darkness in it, and uh, Dare Wright is, is, is just another example of that great medium that's uh, children's literature. And uh, I strongly recommend The Secret Life of the Lonely Doll. Do get the Lonely Doll books. We have it at Book Soup. Um, and um, that is all. Hopefully you have a good uh, day. Take care. Bye-bye.